Sly, if you're reading this, something has gone wrong. I want you to call Walter Berman. He's an attorney in Dallas. Find out why he hasn't sprung me yet. If for some reason you can't reach him, I have been committed to the state sanitarium. Enclosed is a duplicate of my release order. And you come down here right away, take my release papers to the office, and get me out of here. Are you that sure I'll give him to you? Kelly, I've seen him. I've been to the institution. You don't know what's happened to him. What do you mean? They've got him on drugs. He can hardly think straight. Drugs? What kind of drugs? I don't know. Thorazine, I suppose. He's like a different man. I, I, I didn't realize. Whatever happened between you and James and JR, no one deserves to go through what JR's going through right now. You can't just leave him there. Oh, of course not. I'm just afraid of what he might do to me and James when he gets out. <sighs> JR will do anything to get out of there. So right now, you have the upper hand, not him. Whatever you want, tell him he'll give it to you. But please, just get him out. Are you getting me out of here? I'm not sure. Oh, please. Callie, it's getting worse and worse. They're turning me into a vegetable. One condition, JR. Let's name it. It's not that easy. You have to look me straight in the eye and give me your word. And I can tell if you're lying, JR, so you better mean it. I promise, Callie. Anything you want, just, just name it. But please get me out of here. Okay. I want the divorce. It's yours. And I want you out of my life. Forever. That means don't follow me, don't look me up, don't have anything to do with me again. Remember these? It's the property settlement James made you sign. As long as you leave me be, I won't show it to a soul. You can have the cheap divorce of your dreams. But if you come after me, I'll hold you up to millions. I swear. Mm. Oh, this is too easy. There's something else you want. I want you to really listen to me, JR. Because I'm going to speak from my heart. When I married you, I truly loved you. And I wanted our marriage to last forever. <clears throat> Sue Ellen warned me that you'd end up crushing my hopes and dreams, and she was right. But I'm not going to look upon our marriage as a mistake. It taught me to grow up, fast. And in a way, I'm better for it. And I thank you for that. But once I'm gone, I want you to remember me as the woman who, for a while at least, brought out the best in you. And not some pathetic plaything you got tired of. Callie, you can believe this or not. But I truly loved you. I did. And no matter what happens to me, I'll always remember that. Thank you for saying that.